Okay, this video is for background, respect, nine, two, three. Um, you're a center forward, you play semi-pro in the US or, or somewhere, and you, uh, you're you scoreless after five games, um, and your confidence has been hurt because you've been taken out of the starting 11, even though um, you, you're potentially, I think you said you're the captain or you know, you're a leading, leading member of the team, and now you're five games scoreless, Confidence is low. Richard, you're in poor form. What are some things? What are some? What's some advice that you can? Um, right? How do we? How do we get out of this funk? Right? Because I think you have the you have the skill set. It sounds like you're a decent player. Um, let's take immediate action. Right? If you take immediate action, then you can start to feel um, motivated. And this motivation is going to start to, you know, spiral, spiral you up. So I think the five things that you want to make sure that you're investing in every day, right? And I'm sure you've heard them before. There's sleep, hydration, nutrition, sunlight, movement, and relationships. So let's start with sleep because I think sleep is the most underrated and most easily fixable. You can fix you could get yourself into having tremendous sleep very quickly. And I'm not sure if you already start this practice, but if you if you start um, the last 10 minutes, right before every day, if you start to get into the habit of taking a hot shower or a hot bath, this is the one thing that I've noticed that I started doing. And I've noticed just from doing that, I've started to remember whole portions of my dreams like my sleep is so much deeper to a point where i can remember like hours long worth of story from my dreams and i think this is an important tell because previously when i wasn't taking a hot bath or a hot shower before bed i may i may have remembered uh, bits and pieces of dreams but now i can it's it's made my dreams more vivid and i feel more rested i'm waking up with more energy so that's one strategy, right? That's gonna knock off, take care of sleep. The second thing is uh, the first 10 minutes of your day, right? I'm not sure if you heard this before, but you wanna get hydration, sunlight, and movement within the first 10 minutes, right? So if you're not waking up, drinking some water with a pinch of salt, squeeze of some lemon, right? Some electrolytes, some vitamins, and then your, right? If you're not taking cold shower, a cold shower for two minutes is gonna help you um, uh, ride this good energy, right? You're gonna get great sleep. So now the cold showers is gonna double down on your great energy. It's gonna have you feeling calmer throughout the day. Um, it does stuff with your physiology where it helps you prevent colds and it um, helps you just boost your metabolism. So if you're not already taking cold showers, a two minute cold shower, just this little hack can have huge potential, right? Huge potential. The second thing is sunlight, right? Before I used to, Right? You, you know, you might be aware of some people, they wake up, they lay in bed, they're on their phone, they're not seeing sunlight, they're not getting active, right? That first 10 minutes is super crucial in your days, right? So you want to hydrate, cold shower, then get out for a five, 10 minute walk. Um, and this is going to jumpstart your morning, right? They say if you win the morning, you win the day. So this is, right, the sleep go that shoots right into the morning. If you can take care of these four things, now you're training, now you're, this is smart, this is a foundation for the soccer to build upon. If, you, if you're not taking these four things seriously, and then I'll, we'll talk about the fifth one, um, you know, it's gonna be harder for you to, to realize your maximum potential as a player. I think the new goal shouldn't be um, how do you get back into form? How do we become semi-pro and how do we take it to now, you know, you're training at a level so smart that it's only about a matter of time and patience before, you know, you're being recruited to play at the highest level. I think that should be the new goal because, um, you know, with smart training, I think this is easily accomplishable. The next thing is relationships. And this one, you might take this one, not take it for granted, but, um, I think the more encouraging and forgiving and and just aware of your own self, it's gonna help improve the relationship 
with yourself and the, the, your relationship with other people is a, ref, is a reflection of the relationship with yourself. So that means that um, uh, so the more patient you are with yourself, then that means you could take Oh no, you're cool. You're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you're cool. Um, and so, I think a, a simple way to improve the relationship with yourself is actually cleaning your room and making your bed. If you can do those two things, it kind of organizes. If you can organize your room, then it shows you that you can control kind of the chaos beyond your home. So they say before you set out into the world, before you uh, go out into the world, you want to set your, set your home in perfect order. Making your bed, cleaning your room, simple things like doing your laundry is gonna allow you to, to show yourself that you can make your life better and change the world. And it's so simple and such a simple lesson and that I, that I didn't learn even well beyond my college years. So I think this is a simple way that you can start to improve the relationship with yourself in your life and, gr and grow, your, grow your life, right? Because it kind of sets, it sets the tone, it sets a calmness in your life. If you're home, just be coming home to a, a bedroom that's sorted and, a, and a, a tidied up room, doesn't have to take more than, than two minutes and can be done and can be done you know, after your five minute walk. So now you have great sleep, you've set the foundation for great sleep the night before. Now your hydration, cold shower, uh, five minute walk, now you're back home, now you've made your bed, your room's clean, your clothes are set out for the day, now you're getting real organized. Now we can work on, right now let's get you training at a higher level. Um, what, we, what happened we talked about? Movement. Um, let's take your movement to the next level, right? I think there's no one on your team, I'll bet, I'll bet, I think it's 90, I'm 96% sure that no one on your team knows how to do the alternating underhand sneak by David Weck. You wanna uh, search how to make an RMT rope, or you could order an RMT rope, and the reason why this movement is so powerful is because is because it synchronizes your body's movement, it improves your running technique, it improves your balance, your one-legged balance, it puts your body into a runner's pose in a low impact way. All these things are gonna improve your juggling, and if it improves your juggling, it's gonna improve your dribbling, your shooting, and your passing. It's gonna have you moving, um, it's gonna make your running, running economy more effective just by simply swinging a rope, right? If you won't, when you look at this movement, after you search alternating underhand sneak, at first you're gonna say, I don't really appreciate it. Until you start doing this rope flow pattern, you won't appreciate the movement. So that's why I promise you, I promise you, if you learn how to do this alternating underhand sneak, it's gonna take your game and it's gonna take your training to the next level. It's gonna take your warm up to the next level, even your cool down. It's gonna improve your cool down. It's something that you can do after you eat a meal. It's gonna improve your digestion, which is gonna improve. It's, it's one thing that after 27 years of playing soccer, I wish I would have learned it. Tw you know, I just can't believe I, I, I've, I haven't learned it sooner. sooner. So just this one investment is gonna make you a more dynamic, agile, more effective player. It's gonna improve your awareness, your timing, your, your coordination, your rhythm. I promise you, you gotta check out, check out how to make an RMT rope. All you need is a length of preferably soft rope that's a little bit longer than you are tall because right, you can uh, tie some knots into it at the end and it's gonna make it easier. Some people like knots, some people don't like knots. It's easier to hold the knot so you can swing your rope around. And even if you can't master the rope flow pattern, just by swinging it from the right hand to the left hand and feeling how it moves your, your spine, bends and twists your spine, um, it's gonna unlock some mobility and strength and, you know, I'm not gonna say anything more about it because until you feel the power, then you'll start to appreciate what it can do for you. 
the next thing that you want to do to improve it's gonna, that's going to raise your confidence on the field. It's going to raise your energy level. It's going to make you a more competitive teammate and a leader within your team. You want to learn how to breathe. And you may think, okay, I know how to breathe. I've been playing, you know, excellently for my whole life. But check out, just, just entertain me. Check out the TED Talk, How to Breathe by Dr. V Dr. Vranich. It's a uh, V-R-A-N-I-C-H. This completely changed my life because she says that all babies are belly breathers, all mammals in the animal kingdom, they're belly breathers. And for whatever reason, humans have lost their ability to breathe into their belly. And this is gonna help you um, find a deeper level of calmness off the field and on the field. It's gonna help you in high pressure situations. It's gonna help your uh, recovery, your endurance, your stamina. So this is such a small, it's a, you know, it's free. Five minutes, 10 minutes to check out her TED Talk. It's gonna raise your, your the trajectory of your play because right, breathing is the most important skill that you could possibly learn as a soccer player. Right, two, two soccer players with the same amount of skill level, the one with the better endurance is always gonna win. So, right, think about, you take thousands of breaths in a day and if you're not breathing effectively, then you're basically wasting energy breathing poorly. So if you just start to breathe better, you're gonna to start to save energy. You're gonna feel calmer. It's gonna raise your, your awareness and it's just gonna elevate your play. So I can't recommend that enough. So that's our second thing. We have arm T rope, we have breathing, we've got the five pillars. I think tools are super effective, right? Tools are effective, especially simple tools, right? Because a, a simple tool can really change the way that you, that you see yourself and can unlock your potential, right? Go, having, even in cooking, right? Having a, um, a crock pot or having a, um, the right strainer can elevate your cooking so having the right soccer training tool can elevate your abilities tremendously. The first tool that comes to mind, well, I have two, but the first tool that comes to mind is a 2.2 is a pound medicine ball. And what a 2.2 pound medicine ball is gonna help you do is, it's gonna improve your juggling. When you pair that with a tennis ball, now you're doing now you're doing contrast juggling training, right? Because you're using a heavy 2.2 pound medicine ball from Amazon, 30 bucks. Tennis ball, you have access to a tennis ball. When you start to pair these together, oh, you're fine, you're good. When you start to pair, no, you're good. When you start to pair these together, they're gonna sharpen your touch. The sharper your touch, the more dangerous you are, are gonna be as a center forward on the field. So for those reasons, I want you to immediately invest I want you to immediately invest in a 2.2 pound medicine ball and spend more time juggling, right? Not all the best jugglers are the best players, but the best players are always the best jugglers. So by pairing a tennis ball and a medicine ball, it's gonna help you raise your training, uh, the trajectory of your training, and also the people on your team, when they notice you showing up a little bit early, start to get your touch crispy, and, and it's, they're gonna start to be aware of now your new training protocols and you are going to see yourself, your touch, your first touch, your shooting, your passing, your dribbling, will all these things will elevate all those things. So that's a, a simple tool for 30 bucks. It's worth its weight in gold. So calculate what 2.2 pounds of gold is and that's how much it's worth. I believe 10X, right? Um, uh, you know, I'm 90, I'm 96 percent certain you're gonna. It's gonna elevate your your playing. It's gonna get you back on the pitch and have you um, scoring, scoring more effortlessly and having more fun on the field. The last thing I'll leave you with that I think you should invest in is a kick trainer, and I think you should invest in a kick trainer because not only do the do multiple multi-million dollar soccer clubs use them for training, 
but it's you'd be hard pressed to get touches in a tighter time frame in an effortless way than using a kick trainer because you don't have to wait for a training partner. You could do it anywhere you are. It's cheap, right? Uh, SKLZ solo kick trainers, 24 bucks. And you could cram months of training into days or weeks with a kick trainer, without using a training partner, without uh, ha having a wall or a rebounder. Um, if it takes you 60 seconds to get 60 touches with a kick trainer, that means in 15 to 20 minutes, you know, you could get 1200 touches in such a tight, tight time window, anyone not using, any soccer player not using a kick trainer, I believe is at a disadvantage. So that's another tool that I believe can really allow you to unlock your potential as a player because now you're training at a, at a smarter level, you're training economy, you know, and everyone only has a few hours in the day to take advantage of. So by making your training more efficient, more effective, you can have better results in a shorter period of time. So um, let's start out with these, uh, reach out with more questions. I got more suggestions, but I don't wanna overwhelm you. Um, let's see if whatever one resonated, whatever suggestion resonated with you the most, let's start with that one and let's see if we could start to immediately take action so you could start having more fun playing and not care about whether you're in the starting 11, whether or not you're scoring goals, but let's have you having more fun effortlessly and I think you're going to start to see more joy and this more joy is going to lead to better to, to more fun which will lead to more joy you know it's a spiral it's a smart spiral that's going to spiral you up and you're going to have um, you're just going to get more joy out of life so reach out with any questions and thank you for your time all right